Now, in considering production, there's the question of the energy cost, what goes into producing something, and then what happens to the residues, the pollution caused by production. And the, there are several places where the, the pollution occurs. First of all, in the extraction of the raw materials. <coughs> then in the uh, production process itself is pollution within the factory. And this affects clearly the, the health of workers occupational. And that's if the production process is going normally. What happens if there's departures from plan, leakage, either leakage or disaster, these are the two barriers. There's always a certain amount of leakage of chemicals, dust, and so on, carbon dioxide. And so there your strategy would seem to be to try to control that leakage or to find another way. <coughs> and then there's the question of disasters, large-scale spills that are not part of the intended production process, but nevertheless are tolerated. The frequency of these spills is a, re a result of the relationship between our technical knowledge and economic interest. Certainly, mining is a very dangerous occupation. But what makes it dangerous is the mining company's refusal to invest in, pro in protection. But what also makes it dangerous is simply the fact of mining. And so you have the question, uh, which is raised by the precautionary principle. The precautionary principle asks a series of questions. First of all, is this product necessary? And there are different ways of looking at necessity for minimum survival, for well-being, or secondary necessities for keeping the system running, meaning different levels of satisfaction. So the first question is, is this is this product necessary? Secondly, is there, is there an alternative which could do it just as well and be safer? Yeah, it may be more expensive. And here's where we talk about things like alternative energy. Third, what do you do with the waste? And here the principle is if you can't get rid of it, don't make it. And then fourth, what do you do when things go wrong? And this leads us to the discussion of the nature of error. Now, errors are inevitable in life. Now, they can't all be prevented. Their frequency and their harm can be very much reduced. 